Let's make our way down south to Bengaluru now. This next company makes specialized machinery for various industry sectors, ranging from nuclear power to healthcare to automotive. Almost three decades old, innovation has always been the driving force at this company. Here's the story. One enterprise which has established itself as a stalwart in the arena of engineering products is Bengaluru-based Avasarla Technologies, manufacturing specialized machinery and factory automation equipment for various industry verticals including nuclear power, automotives, FMCG, space and healthcare. Avasarla was created almost three decades back by a group of enthusiastic engineers. We came out of a public sector company from Bangalore and uh, we joined together and st started this uh, company with the aim to do innovative things. Initially, our capital was only the amount what our chairman had as a pre-retirement benefit, which was about something like 80,000 rupees with which we started in Bangalore. Established in 1985 by eight passionate technocrats, Avasarla was set up as an innovative professional outfit, going for challenges that others were not up for. Led today by its dynamic CEO and managing director TT Money, Avasarla has established a robust and impressive infrastructure spanning four state-of-the-art manufacturing facilities around Bengaluru and Pondicherry. We manufacture and uh, supply products from Avsarala Technologies to the satisfaction of the customer as a culture of the company. Every product that we manufacture, uh, we process it to the laid down procedures of the international standards of ISO 9001, AS uh, 9100, U and U2 uh, of the ASME. The great fundamentals at the beginning itself when we have formed this company, what we have started were the uh, value system, what we have to follow, and uh, the protection of intellectual property rights and quality. And uh, many international customers are coming to us mainly because of the intellectual property right and also quality. Right. And uh, earlier our uh, exports used to be about 5% of our revenue. But last two years, it has gone up to 30 to 40 percent of our revenue. Do you have any expansion plans on the anvil? The, this facility where we are uh, sitting now is a uh, new facility what we have created. Mm -hmm. And uh, we are likely to create another facility okay. uh, in a coastal site to make larger equipments than what we are building here. That's our future plans. What do you think is the most satisfying part of your job? We are fortunate we are not making any product. Mm -hmm. We are always making uh, something different every day. That gives me a good thrill and uh, wants to, you know, participate in everything and continue to succeed in that domain. Backed by in-depth research and development, Avasarla's achievements on the global front include critical contributions to some significant international research projects. Some of them are the Large Hadron Collider Particle Accelerator Experiment, the 30-meter telescope coming up in Hawaii, and a multi-country thermonuclear experimental reactor. It also regularly contributes to several domestic projects for the Indian Space Research Organization and the Defense Research and Development Organization. See, uh, doing the same thing over and over, there are people who do it, but uh, that's not what counts today. Therefore, every element of work what we do in our Sarla has a specific target to achieve. And that is where our R&D uh, works out to it. Avasarla's workforce of 1,000 plus employees has earned a clear distinction in the domain of engineering products. Through its professional expertise, path-breaking research and resourceful solutions, Avasarla Technologies has proudly secured a place on the world stage and is truly a personification of ingenious Indian entrepreneurship. Avasarala Technologies, uh, you know, it's a very interesting company I find that you built uh, basically in the spaces of nuclear power and factory automation. I think nuclear power is an area of the future which will be very, very interesting. You posed as your biggest challenge is availability of capital, you know, either from government or private sector, etc. And I would just say that, you know, the way you have grown your company, continue to kind of remain capital efficient. If you're not able to get external financing, don't let that stop you. And uh, definitely focus on the two. Both the, both the areas should grow quite nicely. 
So do that in a capital efficient manner. Thanks Niren for that valuable advice for Avasarla Technologies from Bengaluru.